Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna be your kitten. That sounds weird. Okay, so today I'm gonna talk about the left turns and all reverse movement and do we create turn there, uh, where we create turn there, how we move around partner. So if you're interested in this topic, let's go. Okay guys, so let's talk about left turns. And I'll ask Dima to come here. You see today I'm like a ballroom kitten and he's almost a surfer. He just needs to <laughs> wait a moment when his hair is going to be on the legs until his shoulders. Um, I just think that it's going to be cool, that's why we tried. I asked him to do that during coronavirus. Nobody look at him, right? Because all of us working either from home or either from small office. So uh, don't laugh on him, at him. Don't laugh at him, yeah, so today I'm going to share with you two different methods how to do left turns and what I prefer in different movements and I'm very excited to explain you this stuff. I'm going to use, um, I'm going to show this information on slow walls, but you can use that on any dance, it's going to work the same way, just in tango, the different swing style, but we will talk about rotation, so it doesn't matter. Let's do this uh, left turn in walls. So, what I heard from teachers and then what really works for me very well, that you need to turn your feet all the time more than your upper body. And actually they said that they don't turn your upper body at all, just turn your feet. And that really works great for me in a lot of movement. Um, so here what I feel and what guys feel that left side they keep in front, a little bit in front, right side it still goes in front but left side is visually more in front but I still feel that I move all my two sides. And what I'm doing, I use a little range of motion, for example if I need to go, I start in this position and I need to finish first step um, facing the angle to the center. I will use range of motion in my hips, in my knees, but you see I'm not using um, my uh, shoulders. And what I mean not turning your shoulders, I don't mean that you need to fix that in this position and then you use your hips and you leave these shoulders. No, I want you to keep your shoulders on the, that position and when you turn, for example, your lower body, uh, you allow your lower body to turn and then all other stuff just keep going with this rotation. So also the easy rule, you just need to turn your uh, upper part on the 1 and 8 more to the right. And then just keep it like that all the time. And uh, if you keep it at 1 and 8 to the right, then turn everything together. But start not with turning on your shoulders. You do the turn in your lower part and the upper part just going like following it. That's it. So uh, what I'm doing, I'm doing a range of motion and I finish my step here, yeah, the diagonal to the center. And for example, on the next step to the side, I will move forward because I want to go around partner. Then I will turn my feet and I will turn my feet and then close down. So you see, I never had any moment where I'm turning my shoulders, something like that. I was just turning my feet all the time and keep this position like that. I feel like I'm a statue here. So I put it here and I just turn my feet. That's it. So for example, next part where you go back, I do the same. I use range of motion on my feet, but you see I keep this side in front. I'm not turning it this way. And then I just turn my legs, turn my legs, turn my legs. And you see, I'll check my feet is looking diagonal to the wall and my shoulders and one and eight more to the right. And uh, let's check that how that works together. So we don't have a lot of space, that's why we're not gonna be all the time in full frame. Boom, boom. And we turn our feet, great job. And let's do other part. Yeah, we turn in our feet, one, two, three. Yeah. So, pretty good. Um, when a boy wants to create some shape, for example, on the left turn, you want to do some anchoring. Here, actually, um, you kind of switching roles and you can do a little rotation, but where? You start to anchor the side, and when you anchor the side and your leg pass by, you see you have rotation in your shoulders, but that's a little rotation, that's it, 
then you keep moving then. Yeah, so because your body passing by um, through your anchoring position. So on this movement, yeah, you can turn your body, but this, at the same time, look, I'm not turning my body first and then legs. How is in natural movement? Because in natural movement, we turn body and then leg pass. Here, we anchor inside our leg, still initiate the turn, you see? And my body turns. That's how it feels. Okay, so let's go. I will, so he will anchor this side, move his leg, and you see that he has rotation. But that was because of legs. And then he moves. The same way when we do, for example, some core tear or uh, core core tear or back core tear, we do the, this hover thing, yeah? So what he's doing basically, he also anchors his side and he allows his body to pass. But then you, you switch to the natural uh, movement. So it's basically when you switch between right and left, there is different rules. Let me show the other method which works for uh, some other people well and for me in some moves better than this one. So we'll take reverse turn in a uh, foxtrot. Here, uh, I heard that technique recently, a couple of years ago, and uh, I really like to use it. So for kids, I prefer to stay with the previous method, when you're just turning your feet, turning your feet, turning your feet, turning your feet, and then here just move. And other one, you go like in a natural rotation, so if you didn't see uh, my video about natural rotations, uh, movements go there and check, and then you can return, or you can watch it after. But what we do, we do the range of motion in our feet and we go to the middle of the step and here from the middle of the step we start rotation then we turn our feet around and then we move. So let me show what guys do. So he starts with range of motion here, he not turns his shoulder, then he goes to the middle of the step, then from here he starts to move around Yes, then he put his foot, then he twists his feet and head, then he close his feet, create an angle, and go to the left. So it looks like one, two, three, four. Most of have four. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four. Let me try it in the comments. So first it's range of motion, then it's rotation, then feet around, then anchoring on the side, and then step. So here it's up to you, uh, basically and usually uh, guys keep head here to the left, but also you can turn it to the right, boom, boom, boom. So let me tell what girls, girls do, it's also very interesting. I kind of do range of motion, then from middle of the step, I, I turn my body, and you see my left stay there. Then I turn my legs, then I do the anchoring, and then I move. So you see on the first method, I'm just turning my feet, turning my feet, turning my feet. And here is the same, I'm doing this anchoring, and I really love this one. But sometimes it's very, it feels very good, and for me it feels very good when I do range of motion, meet here in the middle of the step, then start rotation, then turn my feet, then do the anchoring, and then make a step. Let's try it together. The last first, and one, two, three, four. Great. And let me show, for example, in following. For example, following slip pivot. The same. You can go with the first method and just turn your feet, turn your feet, here you just move, go up and turn your feet around. And you can move this second method where you use the range of motion, go to the middle of the step and starting from here you start rotation of your body, then place your feet, keep going, then you do rotation, range of motion, then you rotate your body and then you do the rotation motion. So it's like you kind of divide turn for two pieces. You make a turn 
in the lower part, then turn in the upper part, and then turn in the lower part again. So it's more complicated, but sometimes it feels, um, especially for advanced couples, it can feel like more flexible, more interesting, and you're not like very, like super new to each other, and you have that flexibility, because actually ballroom and Latin, they have very common technique in some ways, and uh, I really like that couples that in ballroom show how they flex in their back, how they do shapes, how they use their legs, but it is very hard to do that and stay in a clean position. That's why right now in the modern uh, dancing, uh, coaches prefer more like easiest way when you keep your position uh, clean, when you keep your movement clean, but if you wanna like try the more advanced one and it will still look good or even better, I suggest you to do that. So let's do always the pivot. So we do range of motion. Yes, then from here we start to rotate our body. Then we move, bam, bam, and let's move, move, move here. Then cross legs. And here what we do, we do range of motion first in our legs. Then here we rotate our body and then we do the range of motion again. So it's like feet, upper body, feet. But if you want to look good here, guys, you need to turn your feet a lot, then turn your body. And you see my feet is looking this way. And turn your feet then on a half turn. If not going to work if you're going to turn your feet, body, and just turn it slightly. It's supposed to be like curving your feet, turning, and then curving this way. Okay, let's try one more time. And go. Oh, one and two, three and yay! For example, before we bounce, it's gonna be the same thing, guys. You can either just turn your feet, turn your feet, turn your feet, turn your feet, and then keep going this way, yes. Or you can do like range of motion, then turn your body, then keep moving here. You t I go close hips, let me show from this way. So cross your legs and I turn hips and I go this way. So let's uh, continue after bounce follow with stumble turn. So we finish just bounce follow and here we move with the first step. And the second step, we just need to direct ourselves more there. So we're gonna use just range of motion with our feet. And here there is two ways. Either you can just turn, keep going, turning your feet, turning your feet, turning your feet. So let's show this move how it looks together. Uh, bam, bam. One and two and three, yes? Bam, and we go one and two and three. Yes, yeah, so that's better. And right now we were just turning our feet. And other options what you can do, you will start to here move just right here, then you're gonna use range of motion. And here you can place your foot then start rotation in your body and then keep, uh, after that finish with rotation in your body, move your foot outside the partner, then move your foot to the next step and here do the rotation, slide rotation, and then keep start rotation in your lower um, part. So let me show what you guys do. It's kind of here you move this way, then you start with uh, range of motion in your feet then you start with moving your, um, yeah, your legs starts to move, but then you see your shoulders also moving like that. Then you put your weight to the next leg. Then you put your, here you do the switch in your shape. You put, place your feet, then you turn your body a little bit, and then you turn your feet again. There is more complicated way, um, but sometimes it looks better. So let's go and one and two and three. So I prefer this one because it gives like more uh, more shape, more feeling that we're kind of moving like in wetting but during um, the ballroom. So guys really I was dancing in my career uh, two different ways and usually this method would turn only your feet it's like you know a uh, safe one and a really good one and that's how I start to teach all my students because it's super complicated to understand the second one where to turn how much because it like goes like 
lower rotation, upper rotation, lower rotation, like boom, 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 like that, three times, like, like lower, upper, lower, and it's not a lot, and usually students, they want to show that, okay, we understand, and they start to do boom, 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 and like three ways, and everything they just falling apart, so you really need to be very advanced in order to kind of put that into your dance, it's gonna look pretty much the same, but with more flexibility and kind of judges will see that you know that stuff. So and let's show, for example, left twist. For example, we finish tumble turn, right? And here you can you can move your legs here. But what I prefer, I prefer the second one. When after the middle of the step, you already start to turn a little bit. Then after the middle of the step, you start to turn and here you switch and then you place your foot and after the lowering you can add rotation i prefer this method for 100 percent uh when you switch directions when you go from left to right uh, it's like the same as like in the back or tail hovering left twist because if you will just turn your feet anyway on this last step everyone's turn but i'm talking about these two steps it's it's very hard for girl who um, to go around you. So you see it will stuck here, stuck here, and boom, it's too much rotation. So I want you to prefer like turn, turn, turn. But depends how you will understand that. If you will turn your feet more and you will allow your body to turn, that will create pretty much the same look. So but for some reason in my head I feel that in this specific movement or kind of that type of movement I need to think that from the middle of the step I start to turn. Um, yeah, just on the when you use first method when you turn your feet, don't think that you need to, for example, keep your shoulders that direction and then you turn your feet and you keep shoulders that direction. No, you put your shoulders in the one and the more to the right and then you turn everything together, but with this change uh, with this yes with this difference in your body guys i hope you really understand what i'm showing you here we will have opportunity to show you everything in a full frame with big range of motion with big movement uh, but i hope if you know these moves and you understand what i'm talking about that you can put this information into your dance Give thumbs up to the ballroom kitten and it's me if you didn't get it and ring a bell, subscribe to my channel, tell your friends about it and I hope you really like this video and it was helpful for you. See you on my next videos, bye bye!